Hello there, I'm drawing a picture. Uh, this is a picture given to me by Commander Osric, and it's of a spooky dark cave. Um, yeah, it's a Thargoid structure, so it's uh, he's got inside a Thargoid structure and he's taking a really amazing screenshot. It's a bit different to quite a lot of them because there's like no space. It's no space, it's all underground and it's it's quite dense and dark and sinister. I'm not actually drawing a bit of the picture you can see. Oh dear, never mind. Anyway, so yeah, doing this 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 interior of the cave, it's basically a tunnel intersection that is here. Um and obviously he's he's met a beastie in the tunnel. It's one of the uh scavengers that he's met in a tunnel at the Fargoid structures are incredibly good to go and visit. I, I find them super exciting to see. They're so good. If you, um, they're a faff to get in. You, and there's, you have to know where to go as well. There's, there's tons of them. Though. There's a couple of hundred of them, I think, that they found. They're not all active. Active. But, um, but yeah, you can get in quite a few of them. And, uh, it's just, it's just a matter of having, uh, something Thargoidy in your SRV, um, cargo so like you know like a ua in your cargo which obviously has its own challenges because they are quite toxic aren't they so yeah if you've got something like that i mean actually i think you can you can get the um one of the the three thargoid items they they're kind of often lying around at the thargoid surface sites so you can you can do it without having one on your ship to go there, but you kind of want all three because they're so it's so good if you can get if you can activate the site because it it just gives you the most amazing visuals if you can get it going. I won't describe it too much, but it is fantastic. So the um, you can you can get in by placing the one of your Thargoid items the doorway of the um the site and it'll let you in then and then you're in these weird sort of almost organic tunnels with sort of ribs like bony ribs that you're kind of passing through and there's egg sacs on the floor that you can scrunch and everything's dripping caustic and it, it's just oh it's 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 unsettling environment to find yourself in in a little fragile SRV and I was thinking as I was drawing this last night imagine when the next update comes if you get out of your SRV here and walk amongst these tunnels it would be quite a frightening experience I think I'm quite a wuss with video games I'm not one to play Alien Isolation or anything but yeah I think that that would be quite a sinister feeling walking down these tunnels the best bit about this picture was the way he's managed to capture the moment a scavenger spotted him and just that that sort of glare from from the um the scavenger's well we would assume sensor parts it's it's front glowy eyeball parts that's just the most amazing it, it's a really lovely screenshot i thought it's just weird and dark and sinister and Actually, when you look at it, it doesn't look much. But when you when you look at the details of what he's managed to capture, all of the the, the weird hoses of whatever that's being sort of con conveyed throughout the structure, well, who knows what kind of weird liquids and things that are being carried through these these different tubes up to the center of the center of the structure where the the great big sort of centerpiece I suppose is with the uh, the strange upside down Thargoidiness I, it's amazing I mean I, I don't want to describe the inside of it too much if you've not been in but if you've not been in uh, they're just they're just so good they just really look amazing we were talking about uh, once I'd done the picture and I showed it to the fella that took this screen we were talking about would it not be amazing to do like a demolition derby with SRVs inside the structure and then like maybe just I, I won't there's there's a way that you can turn the whole place hostile if you wanted to but I won't again I won't I won't go too much into that I pretty much all spoilers were had last year or the year before I can't even remember when this was brought out it's been in game a couple of years 
so it's not like I'm really spoiling anything but yeah so lots of colouring in lots of trying to make something look sort of although it's lit in the distance down the bottom of that tunnel I also want it to look like it's down a tunnel so it's a kind of like contrast and lights and darks and shiny things to try and show the the you know the reflections of the light the sort of the eerie kind of phosphorescence of the tunnels the glowing sort of almost greenish sort of pallor to the whole place the whole time i think i've got to draw the little fella now i'm not sure whether i've got that far i could actually shut up to be fair uh, if you if i put some music on you'll have to see me um drawing it and trying to paint it thinking that oh well i'll use paint because that's going to be super super bright and then watching the paint dry and becoming just so flat and dark so then i had to go over it in chalk anyway so all that faffing around with paint was wasted actually yeah no i think i have heard enough of my voice and really uh most people will know everything there is to know about this stuff anyway but just in case you've not been in one i really do recommend it they're really fabulous environments oh look that's me doing doing the um the little the little scavenger beastie he stares at you. He spotted us in the corridors. Righto. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, like the picture and or uh, use this as inspiration to go and see a Thargoid surface site. <laughs> right. Bye bye. <laughs>